Motown star Mary Wells is known for her hit single, My Guy. But the singer's happy tune had a sad note when she faced a painful battle against throat cancer. In 1964, the voice of Mary Wells made My Guy number one. 25 years later, that voice was virtually gone. Because I have cancer, I'm fighting for my life. Mary blamed smoking two packs of cigarettes a day for years. Longtime friend Dion Warwick says Mary learned how seriously ill she was in 1990. I got a call from her. She was appearing in Canada, and her throat just cut out on her. She, she couldn't sing. She could barely talk. Mary underwent treatment, and a temporary implant allowed her to speak. She told us doctors were optimistic. I feel great. I feel great. I miss my voice, you know, but hopefully it'll come back. I'm praying that it does because I put a lot of uh, time in my career, and I've been singing all my life. I don't know any other trade. Nothing you could buy could make me turn my life. My guy topped the charts when Mary was just 21. She had three more top 10 hits for Motown, the fledgling label she joined at 17. Mary Wells was the star. Mary Wells was definitely the first lady of Motown. Former Supreme Mary Wilson says her group was inspired by Wells. Mary Wells would come through the lobby and she'd have her entourage behind her and we're standing there like, wow. Yeah, that's, that's the way we want to be. By 1990, unable to perform, her finances were drained by medical expenses. When she and her then four-year-old daughter, Sugar, were evicted from their apartments, money came from Rod Stewart, Bruce Springsteen, Diana Ross, and her former boss at Motown. Well, Barry Gordy gave uh, $25,000. Her friends arranged benefit concerts, with Anita Baker raising $10,000 through this show. I'm just so pleased that we can help each other, and everything will be fine. Mary Wells is, um, she's one of our institutions, and we can't see an institution fail. Mary would also file a lawsuit against Motown and its new owners at Universal, claiming the company owed her money. Mary Wells herself should be receiving her royalties, and the fact is that she isn't. Motown countered with the argument that Mary had surrendered her royalties when she left in 1964. She agreed under a court settlement to waive her future royalties for the right to leave her contract with three years left on it for Motown. She won a six-figure out-of-court settlement, but cancer returned, and Mary would pass away in July 1992. Her funeral drew Little Richard, Stevie Wonder, and Smokey Robinson, who had written her biggest hits. Nothing you could do, cause I'm stuck like glue to my guy. To the end, in the face of all her problems, she remained optimistic. Oh, I just look at the best things that are happening in my life, and I tell Satan to get behind me and let the Lord get in front of me. Mary's legacy lives on in her music and her four children.